is Andy Townsend. Thank you, Clive. Really looking forward to this game today. A warm welcome from Soccer City in Johannesburg to the final game of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. The game all of the finalists wanted to play in, but only two ever could, and one or two we've got to contest the most important match of all. Oh, it certainly is, Clive. Forget about what's been said, what's been written. Just go out and go and play like you've never wanted to win before. Rooney finds his man. On to Barry. Not the pass that Barry was looking for. Referee has given... What has he given? He's given a free kick. Bore. Bamogo. Has a go. Struck it well, but off target. Come on, you've got to hit the target. You know if you're going to shoot from there, you've got to make the goalkeeper work. Nice touch. Steven Gerrard. No problem for the defender. Emil Heskey saw that coming. Lennon! Goalkeeper got for it, but he's still in play. He's got to keep hold of the ball better. Mamogo. Found Terry. On to Lampard. Glenn Johnson. Found Rooney. Heskey. Johnson. Roomba. Attack just broke down. Gareth Barry. Found Gerard. Good start, but who will he fall to? Aaron Leonard intercepts. Now, oh, oh. unable to hold it. Gobbled up by the keeper. Roomba. Linking up well. Found some space. Cabore. Fernandez to Gure. Petroy Park. I suppose you'd have to say the defender was well positioned. Now Emil Heskey. Heskey's pass intercepted. England have it back with Rio Ferdinand. Petroy Park. Bamogo. Cross has gone only to the defender. All right. Petroy Park. Not going anywhere with the ball at the moment. Cabore. Petroy Park. Now, will they try to get the ball in the box from this throw-in? And a play for a goal kick. Aaron Lennon slips the marker. Lennon trying to pick a man out. Didn't trouble the defence. Good advantage, good referee. Just the keeper to beat. Decided to have a go. Oh, look at that! They've broken the deadlock and got their noses in front in the final. It's a dream position to be in, in front in the final. his first goal and it's 1-0 here Steven Gerrard Fernandi Taguri Tal Bore Petroy Park finding each other with real understanding at the moment that's his job winning the ball all oh, they had the keeper wondering yeah that's an uncomfortable moment when you're in between the posts when the ball comes flying at you like that
Always options for the man in possession. Here's Gareth Barry. Now Steven Gerrard. Here's Wayne Rooney. Found Heskey. This is Frank Lampard. Oh, good save! Great reactions! England have forced a corner. to get the ball forward, keeping possession. He's made a good run there, trying to lose his marker. Tal. Roomba. Cabore. Patient play. And a foul here. Penalty. The referee had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. Good penalty. They work on the skills that bring about the goals. They work on the celebrations too. There'll be one or two trying to copy that, Clive. Away we go again. Scores 2 0. Here's Wayne Rooney for England. Ashley Cole. Here's Gerard. Now Emil Heskey. Keeper in control of the situation. His ball. One more go. Lured him into the foul and wins a free kick. Romba. Yamiogo. to see that and get to it. Fernandi to Gure. Now then. Up first of the ball is the goalkeeper. Bamogo. Yamiogo. He broke up the attack there. Emil Heskey. Opportunity, hit the keeper. He did a good cross. The attack breaks down. Bamogo. Petroipa. Now, what can he do here? Wherever you look, there are players making runs, finding space. That's not even close, is it? If he gets another opportunity, he'll have a go. It's as simple as that. He wants to take that match ball home here. This is Emil Heskey. Johnson. This is Lampard. This is Aaron Lennon. Lennon looking to cross. He tried the shot. Fine stop. Made up the ground to get across to it. It'll be an England corner.
with his head. For a split second there, Clyde, I thought it was going to go wide, but it's gone in off the post. Bit of a mismatch, this. Scoreline's 3-1. England have it with Wayne Rooney. Here's Emil Heskey. This is Steven Gerrard. Well, that's a good pass. The cross collected by the defender. Hit first time. Back off the upright. Just looking to get it clear. It's half time. I bet they'll be banging on that referee's door at half time now, but they'll want to know about that decision. Some weary legs out there now. A bit of extra energy may just do the trick. Get them back into this game. That's the reason for the change. Everybody present and correct. And away we go for the second half. Bikina Faso have been awarded a free kick here. Petro Ipa. Romba. Yamiogo. Has a header. Smacked against the post. themselves a goal here. Off they go again. It's now four goals to one. Frank Lampard. Free kick given. And there'll be a card here. No, there won't. No referee says just a free kick. Here's Steven Gerrard. Can they get to it? Is it a good cross? Oh, that's some save. Couldn't take any chances there. The forward nearly got to him. Always dangerous at corners. Kicked out. Players off the ball, always looking to get into good positions. Here's Glenn Johnson. Now Emil Heskey. Carrick. Kere. Moray. Got it downfield. Plenty of promise about this attack. Detroit Park. Rolling it around nicely. Got to make better use of the ball than that. Well played. Couldn't force an opening. Nice, nice, nice. Referee has given the throw in to England. The manager is going to make not one change, but two. It's a double substitution. <laughs> This is Glenn Johnson, this is Frank Lampard, on to Defoe, on to Carrick. Oh, that's exceptional keeping. Well seen by Ashley Cole. Gerard. Yamiogo. So important to keep possession. Now Michael Carrick. Now Frank Lampard. This is threatening. Delivers it in. Couldn't get through. Roomba. Mamogo. You saw that coming. Now you see they've got it back. 
John Terry's got to do better with the ball than that, you know. Guli Bali. Yamiogo. Roomba. Bamogo. Cabore. Petroipa. I felt that one up here. It was a forceful challenge. Here's Wayne Rooney. Roomba. Just can't stand still in this game, and he isn't. Petroipa. He can cross it from here. Take him on. He takes some stopping, doesn't he? On the ball. Three kicks being given. It's gone England's way. opting for a double substitution. Now Wayne Rooney. Possession has been given up here. Carrick. Can someone reach it? Tassambido. Dagano. Not going to just hoof the ball upfield, they'll pass it around. He's a strong runner with the ball. Chance to finish. He's found some space. What a goal! That's a couple of goals he's popped in already. They can't handle him. There's many strikers who can beat people like this, Clive. But how many of them can finish it as coolly as this guy? Ah, that's some finish. And there's surely no coming back from that. It's 5-1 now. England have it with Wayne Rooney. Defoe. It's a great challenge. Lampard. Now Jermaine Defoe. Rooney. Carrick. Carrick can't find a man. There's a good run supporting the man in possession. Here's Frank Lampard. On to Defoe. Throws it in. Just broke up the attack. Now Lampard, now Defoe. Look at this, they've not picked him up. Scores! When substitutes fail to make an impact, they take the blame. When they do well, the manager takes the credit. Whether it's bobbling one over the line or scoring like that, Clive, I love the way that Jermaine Defoe continues to get his goals. England are still well adrift. They've got a mountain to climb. Tassambido, Koulibaly, Yamiogo, Roomba. He writes a challenge so well, you know. Defoe can't find a man. Now Wayne Rooney. Tal. Roomba. Koulibaly. Here's Wayne Rooney. Tal. Always seems to be an option for the man in possession. Dagano. Well worked. Now, can he put it away? Not easy to get through. The keeper claims it. We're into the final minute of the game. Frank Lampard. They've won a throw in.
verge of one of the upsets of the season here, Andy. You could have got long, long odds against this scoreline. Couldn't see this happening, Clive, before the game, but all credit to this team now. It's just a question of whether they can hang on. And a nice ball. Excellent ball. It's a real chance. No problem for the keeper. for the losers they may never get this chance again and quite right they celebrate in such fashion Clive it took two years to get here weeks and weeks of meticulous preparation prior to this tournament they stuck together and they've won it these fans can say I was there millions of more celebrating a home will believe they were there in their dreams but these fated, famous players, superstars, many of them. But this is a different experience. Oh, and I envy these players and the fans able to, to celebrate like this. But you deserve it, guys. You really do. You've been wonderful over the last few weeks. Top quality football, played in the right spirit. Worthy World Cup winners, in my opinion, Clive. You enjoyed some World Cup success, Nick. Maybe it takes a little bit of time for all of this just to sink. Oh, it would do. Because, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. These guys have just been amazing, incredible stuff. Well, there's a certain protocol to be followed, but up they go for the medals. You're not allowed to pick it up just yet. <laughs> That's going to be the uh, captain's job. That certainly is. And Harry's de de going to deserve this moment, Clive. I just think he's been terrific the way that he's marshaled his troops and he's handled the press well and all the pressures that go with it. He's been great. It's a moment he will have uh, watched on television before. A moment to tell his grandchildren about the World Cup is lifted by a team that have taken South Africa by storm. They are the best in the world. They have shown what they can do on the biggest stage of all. And nobody will ever take this moment away from them. They could go on to be anything they want. They need fear nobody now, Clive. They prepared well. They've worked exceptionally hard, and now, quite rightly, they're world champions, and time to celebrate, time to enjoy the moment. It just doesn't get any better than this. Well, if you can't enjoy this, you can't enjoy anything. It's been our pleasure bringing you coverage of these historic World Cup finals. These scenes will live with us all for a long, long time to come. From uh, Andy Townsend and myself, Clive Tilsley, thank you again, and we will see you in Rio in four years' time.